Hey guys, this is Tyrell. I'm here in the beautiful West Melbourne, here at the Rialto Hilton. Today we are at the Authors for Authors Conference. We're going to be interviewing amazing people with amazing stories, so make sure to tune in. Hey guys, remember Be Unique is a 100% volunteer nonprofit organization. So your donations really help us to continue to do the videos that we do. Amazing, just like this. Woo! Hello, Coffee or Tea fam and Be Unique fam. Today I'm here with Maritza Mejia, and she's going to let us know about the different books that she has and the different diversity it brings to us. Thank you so much for bringing me here. It's a pleasure to be with you. So just let us know a little bit about the books that you um, have written and let us know um, how different they are, so the diversity it brings to us. Okay, I have, so far I have six books. My first two are my memoir, Hazel Eyes, Ojo Sabayana, English and Spanish. Then I moved to poetry, bilingual poetry, poems, thoughts and more, and Luz del Mes, bilingual poetry, and also I have, for my little ones, I have bilingual children books, Grandma Stracer and Vanilla and Chocolate. Both are bilingual. So let us know what gave you the inspiration to become a writer and what has continued your path down to continue to write great projects. Well, my, my passion to write at the beginning was to leave a legacy and I wrote Hazel Eyes and then I translated into Spanish for my Spanish community, my family, my friends. But then I decided, I think I have the inspiration to continue writing and then I moved to writing children stories bilingual children books because it was hard to write only one language and then translate the whole book into the other language. So I, I think now I'm going to write bilingual books. It will be one book, two languages, <laughs> easy to produce and the same time that you're spending. So I did the lessons for living, books to inspire kids to be good. And my first one is Vanilla and Chocolate. The focus is tolerance, respect. Grandma's treasure is to encourage kids to build appreciation for life. And then the poetry. The poetry is, is environmental poetry. Environmental because it's to focus on the protection of the earth, to enjoy life, to enjoy nature, but taking care of the nature. So that's in my inspiration to inspire others to be good and this is what inspired me to write. So it seems like you have a um, general push to have a good moral compass when it comes to your books that you have written. Um, how important do you think that it is to have a good moral compass when it comes to writing or inspiring anyone? The, the inspiration really, the main concept to write first of all is to bring something, a lesson. I love lessons. I love to, when you read, you have a lesson or something that you are going to remember. I read that book and I was inspired to do this. So my inspiration is really to bring a lesson in each book that I write. Well, can you um, do us a favor and maybe read one of the poems you have for us? Yes. My last baby was Luz del Mes. Is an um, environmental poetry, as I told you before. Uh, well, we're going to read one book. Uh, the book is divided in poems, tales, 
and because they are going to give you an inspiration and let's read something about nature mother earth as the earth spins some feel a temperature breeze others a cool freeze mother nature scream out please be kind is all i ask mother earth i like it nice calm it's subtle and can you read it for us also for our um, for the other dialect as well yes this is a, the, i love this the, to have a style on my writing not mm, uh, free verse this is a tanka and and i'm going to read it in spanish Do you want me to yes. read it in spanish madre tierra mientras la tierra gira algunos sienten la brisa suave otros un frío gélido y la madre naturaleza grita por favor sea amable es lo único que pido well thank you <laughs> i'm going to make sure i brush up on my espanol so that i can fluently read the books on both ends um i think that it's really cool that you are um of course a great writer and that your writing does influence um nature and good moral compass and that's um, everything that should be put out into the atmosphere as of now. Um, with that, can you let us, uh, our fans and your fans know where we can find you at, any kind of following, anything such as that? Very easy. Everything is Luz del Mes. My website, my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, my YouTube channel, Luz del Mes. Perfect. See you next time. Bye.